This and come best. back soon. Oh, come on, join us. Not sure I believe this, but my husband said he saw a boy selling a two-headed goat on the way home from work. Can you imagine? Morning, Mr. Take a pamphlet, please. I want you to be safe. Monsieur? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would oh, put yeah. us well on our way. Clear. I need to pass. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's Hello. plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. thinking much. Drunken idiot, that's what you think. I got bigger problems to worry about. Have you, Arthur? Have you? That's nice. Good for you. Good for you. But Karen, don't do this to yourself. Please. You got a choice. Sure. I got a choice. That's nice. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. All right, boy. Now, 
a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Come take it. It's right here. Ah! I'll cut your damn head! Clean off! Stick it! Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from them. I ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Arthur! 
Welcome back. Easy. Whoa. Oh, hi, Arthur. Always good to see you. You all right, Molly? Bored? Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. All right, then, Arthur. Sure is quiet without them calendar boys around. Yeah, damn shame. Spent all my time telling him to shut up. Now I miss it. <laughs> 